my signal by GBPAUD. Well, one position's already hit on profit. Um, and I've just added, I'm just waiting at the moment. Boop, 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 boop. That's one trade. And then if we just go over through here, <laughs> we have uh, we have our live session that we just did. Uh, so if you wanted to check it out, go check it out. That's for the 24th of June. He's crazy. This is what life is all about. That's what trading is all about. You say hello. <laughs> the furry baby. Hey. So welcome to another vlog. We're going to be showing you another trading vlog and a day in a life. We've got the weekend coming up. So Friday today, most likely I'll be sharing on Monday the next trade. Um, but today basically we had three trades and this is why it's important just to share with you the video is one winner can pay for it all. So I had a lose on GJ, a lose on GN and on G on GA um, that ended up paying 5R. So that ended up paying for the two losses plus put me in 3R profit. And I've got one small position trailing at the moment. That was all sent on the signals, all sent through. And now I've got Blake just kicking me and he's lost a sock. I better find it before the wife gets back. <laughs> I'm gonna go hit legs, uh, go hit back a little bit later. So I'll take you with me and then we'll be back on Monday for another trading day. So enjoy the action. <laughs> Look how messy my desk is. Let's quickly clean this up and then I'll do the next clip. I mean, it's still messy, but not as messy. So right now I have um, just basically roast chicken and coleslaw and then just all salad. And I put like Nando sauce on it. And then I've got these like as dessert. Once I finish eating, I'm going to do some back testing tonight. And the goal of the back testing is just to see how this week would have performed, like how would I have done, or how should I have done, compared that to my actual results, and then take it into next week. So I find this very important, especially when it comes to pattern A, but I love trading right now because it's just in, sweet, and done. BRE was profitable, but it was so boring and it was not me. So right now trading is a priority for me, um, and I'm on a journey to get 1 million funded and then 5 million funded. So follow me with this journey. Um, so it obviously now starts the mark of 24th of June. I've got 200K at the moment, and I'm just trying to build 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 um so yeah if you're on your funded journey or your trading journey i hope you guys are enjoying the content loving it um transparency my journey my failures my successes everything and i'm hungry now so i'm gonna eat and then i'll see you on so the weekend i'll share a few clips um, it won't be too too much because obviously i'm sure you guys are more interested in the trading content um so the main thing for the weekend is sunday i'll do the review tonight i'll do the back testing um, if you want to watch the back testing just go to youtube and watch the replay and then on sunday you can join us on telegram for the review for the week and then on monday i'll have my session okay so next clip say bye so who needs a professional photographer when you've got man like the police Damn. and it's sunday uh, i'm gonna go hit arms right now then i'm gonna bring you a forex breakdown which is basically my review of last week and what i plan to do this week and some lessons so this morning i was up at 7 30 sunday is my most productive day uh, right now it is 10 56 which is pretty cool um and now i've actually been a really productive day i've visualized i've read i've journaled i've done my to-do list i've planned for next week i've reviewed some trades and also done some youtube work as well so pretty productive morning now we're going to go hit arms you could try to play but you're never gonna beat me look the other way what i'm doing ain't easy bloody and stain from the people who deceive me muddy hands break through the chains go free me Looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train I'll never stop, stick to a lane Pick up the pieces and go rearrange uh, I'll be the best above all the rest Put me to the test uh, Expect nothing less You check as I'm chess What's happening next year? He got the venom, a tangible weapon No coming in second This life is a lesson He got a new engine from pain That's a blessing New focus, no guessing Just bought an obsession All in his possession You got the retention I leave an impression And take a redemption Just kill no discretion Your mind is a weapon 11-11, it's time for progression uh. You could try to play But you're never gonna be me Look the other way what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody and stain from the people who deceive me Bloody hands break through the chains go free Welcome to the screen recording breakdown. Um, so the first and foremost is actually to share this. So uh, currently I have my Bitcoin journey, which I'm just seeing to see if my strategy will work on Bitcoin. So this was actually the first trade we took today and it's all demo. So 26th of June, um, 2022, I sent this. So the pre at 9.50 and then now is at one o'clock. Um, it ended up hitting take profit. So if you want to just follow this journey, 
this is completely for free so just join the telegram in the link below but right now we're just going to go through some of the trades and instead of going through the trade breakdowns i'm just going to share with you some of the overall thought processes um, and some of the overviews of it so our first trade this week was on um euro aud buy which had on the 21st so here um yet again this was a very simple trade i waited for the open i was very patient with it so there wasn't really too much to comment with this this ended up hitting take profit so that was great trade uh what was the next trade uh, which to look for so GP yeah depending on how how fast it moves so this ran quite nicely and hit take the profit quite nicely as well um, one thing to take away was I ended up choosing Euro AUD over GBP AUD and I think that's quite a good thing to learn from here is even though there are multiple setup across the board you just got to figure one out and see which one works for you so um, obviously this was the Euro AUD at the time next we had our GBP NZD trade and I'm um, not too sure how that went TP close here so yeah I ended up closing that in profit to secure the wins so let's have a look at the overall trade idea and see if there's any comments to kind of share with you so the main concept of this review on this is just to kind of share with you more psychology and share with you more thought process as opposed to the check trade breakdowns i think i do enough trade breakdowns where you guys can go back and review uh, but i've had a lot of comments just to help with psychology and breakdowns and overview so here this ended up did run into take profit anyway um if we move it up i was probably aiming for a tp up here which on the left hand side was i was just looking for the previous zone but i ended up closing this at a two 2.82 r as you can see i said close um, i wanted to secure two wins for the monday uh, on the 21st to put us in a really good position to have that take profit we come in on to the next day um, and then same gbp nzd ran like a mofo i ended up oh sorry i ended up doing one more trade as well um, in the evening at seven o'clock and this hit take profit straight away um, <laughs> without even without even giving us a chance so that was pretty funny that hit three hours straight away and then last night um, well the evening it absolutely ran um, you know I really probably should have just left their position but the spreads could have taken me out I probably would have hit stop loss on this wick here so should have would have could are reviewing it so from that i'm quite happy that i just secured it and secured the profits and this is the main thing when it comes to day trading um securing the profit so the next day we had gu and then gbp cad um i think i had one win one loss here but it was played quite nicely and the reason is is because i ended up securing the uh, take profits on the levels yeah here we go so gbp cad here i closed 50 percent and then closed in fully and that was because i didn't really as time goes on you change your bias off of trading so so GP card, uh, GP card. Here we ended up closing this early, right? And the reason we closed this early was it was coming down to this um, to, to this support zone here. It wasn't looking as clean um and gbp usd was looking a little bit messy at the time so 23rd so you can see i shorted here on gbp usd and ended up just taking my take profit uh stop loss out now with this i wanted to de-risk my exposure and what i mean by that is because gbp cad and gbp usd are both gbp pairs taking profit off of gbp cad if it was to reverse it takes my risk and exposure off the table because if they both are bullish and it will take me out i'm minus two r so i secured this and then ended up in a very very small profit for the day um in signals i ended up taking one more trade and wasn't uh, sent i think it ended up at the day in the loss but it's signal wise it's been a very very good week then the last trades of the week was uh, gj short and gn short gj ended up hitting stop loss um let's have a look at gb GB, jpy and yet again this was a very good setup but just looking for a continuation um there was a lot of support down here and overall momentum was bullish so i probably like that's probably the reason why it hit stop loss i wouldn't have changed that trade because the setup was good um gbp nzd let's have a look at gbp nzd gbp nzd was still running at that time and it ended up closing that earlier to secure just basically to uh, minimize the loss across the board so i gave it another seven minutes and then i just closed it um so it was a like minus couple of, a couple of r i think 1.7 r then we ended up just sharing some breakdowns and then we had gbp aud which was running nicely um and to be honest the take profit really should have been at this key level because i believe this ended up hitting stop loss gbp aud yeah this ended up running through breaking out and then just hitting stop loss so uh, i just left the chart so i didn't really follow that through 
Okay, so that is the breakdown of the week um, off of this. If you do want to join the signals, it's only $49.99 a month. It's absolutely nothing. It's less than a coffee a day. We share our breakdowns. You also have access to our resources tab as well, where our resources, we share like all these signals content. Um, there's a lot of breakdowns and a lot of information there. So if I just bring this in, so here we have all of these breakdowns, um, zero thinking, um, our trading journal updates as well. So you can read each one daily. So for example, on the 22nd of April, you can see all the trade ideas, breakdowns and reviews, um, all the video recordings as well. They are here. Um, I did a back testing session, so they are there as well. And then obviously something like this, for example, you have consistency. It talks about, you know, the three pillars of this, of how consistency is really built in trading, such as confidence, uh, your journaling and your belief um, which is all broken down but there's plenty of these breakdowns we've got worksheets breakout guides step-by-step -step guide loads of different stuff okay so I'm actually going to um, end the video here part of this is going to be in the vlog so we'll go back to the vlog content then so I am conscious that obviously this video is going to be very very long um, so I've ended up deciding just to end the clip here and then we'll do a Monday Tuesday vlog on another episode but I think this episode was actually quite educational quite fruitful and quite interesting we did two workouts we had a trading day we sent the signals and we did a screen recording complete breakdown um, which some of you guys have asked for um, you know rather than just explaining in the trade and confluences more the psychology the development and what i'm thinking at this current stage and time so thanks for watching this this new channel is growing really rapidly um so i appreciate all of you guys i'm really excited to make more content i've always loved vlogging is youtube is like one of the hardest things i do like i've got property business i've got all sorts of stuff but i've never been able to really crack crack youtube maybe my personality or these videos i don't know but the thing is i'm never giving up and i appreciate it like the 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 feedback at the moment on the YouTube channel is really, really giving me fulfillment. I think that's it. So fulfillment. So thanks, guys. Lots of love. Wanna be champ out, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Peace.